Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to send uh, messages to queue uh, using Java PVZ. So let, we'll see another way like uh, how to publish uh, messages to queue using Java PVZ protocol in Loader. Okay, so first I have, we have a queue here, so which is a creator name with the test queue one. And uh, if you see that message, we don't have any messages at here. So let's go to the load on script. So I have imported all the required classes, what we need to create the active. So currently we are using active MQ. So I was importing the active MQ jars and the active MQ classes and importing them into my Java user. In coming to the action method, I started a connection here with the URL which I'm using here by default URL. And you need to mention your your URL as per your requirement and uh, uh, park a establishing connection with the username and password and starting the connection and creating a session and creating a queue object and creating a message here and sending the message to the server. Okay, and uh, printing the message after sending the uh, message to queue. So this is a message we are sending to the uh, uh, queue so as of now we don't have any any, any messages again so just uh, we refresh it once more one more time so if we, uh, yeah we'll do it and uh, if you see that if you see any queues here so we have one queue and the message count is zero zero here so we should have a refresh option here reload uh, reload and if you see the Message count is still zero. Now let's run it. Uh, we'll run it for two iterations. Uh, we'll run it for uh, two times. So that will help us to uh, uh, that will help us to see how many messages were sent. So we're sending it two messages now currently. Just I'm replaying it. So it's starting the first message. It's starting the first iteration. Yeah, it started the first iteration and two iterations ending two iterations okay so if you see that still was not refreshed here so if you click here and if you click here switching that we got a message counters to click on that and open one of our message like this show your message from load runner okay so we'll do one thing like we'll delete it one more time delete and delete back so no messages now. So now I'm uh, uh, load runner task complete. Sorry, load runner uh, run task complete. Okay, task complete. Now let's run it again. So we should see two messages in our queue again uh, with the message as from task complete in our message. Yeah, I start the first iteration and it ended the second iteration as well. Let's go to the uh, view here and just refresh the view. Just refresh your view, go to the queues. There are two messages here again. And if you click on the message and show from task in number. So uh, it's and now we have did it for only uh, active queue, active in queue. So uh, we can use any of the queue. Uh, like based on the uh, vendor of your queue, you need to add your import statements here and you need to add your jars in your class path. So here I have added my jars in class path. So you need to add your jars in class path and I have added a Java here. So uh, it's one point that I'm going to be using it as per your requirement. So based on the vendor, it supports and uh, the Java and the version compatible should match. And uh, uh, if you're using the active MQ, uh, get the version of the active MQ and uh, see what version of Java it supports and what version of JAR it supports for the current version you're using for your queue and add the respective JAR here. So you can download it from Google, uh, the JAR you can download it from the Google and you can add it to class part. So in next video, we'll see how to add a JAR into class part and how to update your Java versions. Thanks for listening to this.